Hey there guys, Lee and Frey with Fit Made Simple and this is your no equipment workout. All you need is space, so I've got a little mat space and let's warm up. So I'm gonna squat with a hip circle. Squat with a hip circle. So I'm just pretending that I'm stepping over a big electric fence, warming up my hip rotators. Sit into your heels, circle around. Sit near heels. Gonna have a little video bomb with Hillary. She's had enough of my workout. Tired of sitting in here. She's been here all morning. Last one. And then last one on the other side. Now, I'm gonna do a reverse lunge. Step back with your right leg, leg length distance. Push your right hip forward and sweep your arms overhead. Pull yourself up with the left. Step back with the left. Push your hips forward. Sweep your arms overhead. Continue, I'm trying to make this an active warm up. Step back, sweep your arms overhead. One more time, total of three times on each side. Now I'm just going to do body weight in the workout, but there will be an option box up at the top that I'll go back, fingertips on top of your shoulders, elbow circles, and I'll show you some options if you happen to have a weight with you and you wanna add a weight to this workout. Now, scissor your arms, open and close. There we go. And last time, fingertips, you're gonna draw some circles to see from the side. I'm just drawing some circles with my elbows, and then I'm gonna scissor my arms. All right, we got about five seconds left, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how it's done. Super set them. Two exercises, two different exercises. This is the first one. Four jacks, two lunges. So I'm gonna show the low impact on this workout. But remember, there will be a box up at the top in case you wanna go higher impact on any of these exercises. But I think you guys know how to make a jumping jack high impact. So if I had a weight, I would just be holding the weight, right? Eight seconds. Then we'll do the second exercise. I'm gonna do these four jacks and then we're gonna start with the second one. All right, so the next one is gonna be a squat, twist to the elbow, squat, twist to the elbow. If you had a weight, you'd hold it here. It would be in the option box up at the top. Squat, elbow to knee. Squat, elbow to knee. So keep your head up. Sit into the heels. I am stepping on a loud spot here. I'm sorry about that. Turn your music up so you can't hear me. Sit into it, rotate. Now once we get done with this, these are 40 seconds of work. Once we get done with this, we're gonna go back to that first one where you've got your four jumping jacks. And then your two reverse lunges. Last one. Okay, and because we're supersetting this, we're gonna go back. So grab your weights if you wanna use weights. Remember it said an option box at the top. Otherwise, four jacks, high or low, reverse lunges. So this is a great workout if you travel or a holiday workout. You're not access to, you have no access to, um, your normal weights, your dumbbells. I made it to where you can do body weight or grab a pillow, grab some soup cans or nothing like I'm doing. <sighs> last four jacks and last two lunges. All right, because we're super setting, this is the second round, this is squat, Twist with the elbow, with or without weight. Squat, elbow to knee. Squat, twist, elbow to knee. So for a second, you got a little bit of balance, right? Eyes follow the hands. Balance challenge. Sit in the heels. So we're gonna start a new super set after this. It's gonna involve push-ups. You can do full push-ups on the floor or knee push-ups. I'm gonna show you with a chair option. Last one. 
and then last one over on the left side. All right, grab a chair if you want. I'm gonna show you a push-up with a rocket launcher. This will be the first of the second superset. You can do this on the floor as well, or knee push-ups. So it looks like this. You're gonna lower your chest down, keep it right over your wrists, and then I want you to drop back into your heels. Come back to your plank position, lower down, push up through the heels of your hands, drop back. So I'm using a chair. If you don't have a chair, you're traveling, you don't have access to a chair, use a couch, coffee table. That's it, push down, lower yourself down, push up, drop back. Last one and then drop back. All right, the second one in this superset is going to be balancing on your right leg. It's gonna be a deadlift, but we're gonna do a knee drop first. So left knee up, and then I'm gonna let it float. I'm gonna hinge over, single leg deadlift. So notice that my knee is soft. Keep going, keep going. If you need balance help, knee up, hinge over. So notice, I'm showing you from the side, notice that I'm not looking down, I'm looking slightly forward. When I look up, I'm gonna look at the clock, see where I'm at. All right, I got 10 seconds, knee up. Staying all on the right side the second time, I'll get that left side. This will be your last one. Hinge over, and then come back up. So that was all right side. Go ahead and get in position for your push-up plus a rocket launcher, guys. 40 seconds of work, and I've got my legs wide, nice wide base, lower yourself down, and then drop your hips back. Eyes straight ahead, slightly forward, and all I mean by that is I'm not hanging my head, right? Drop back into your heels. Again, you can do this on the kitchen counter if you want. I just have arthritis in my wrists, and this is just a little more comfortable for me to do versus the floor. But you do you, right? I want you to push yourself. This is the last one. Then you're going to balance on your left leg. Move that out of the way. Get on the left leg. This will be a single leg deadlift. So I'm going to show you from the side. Right knee up and then I'm gonna hinge forward. So let me show you the other option here. Right knee up, you can tap back and just load that left side 90%, 80%, excuse me, and hinge over. Sorry, I didn't show you on the other side. I didn't think about it. I was trying to modify by hanging onto the chair. Little balance help. Knee comes up, then you're gonna shift forward from the hips Knee up. Remember, balance is one of those things you gotta use it or lose it. So we always wanna incorporate a little bit of balance. All right, that's it. We just finished second superset. So the next one is a squat thrust with two high knee pulls. Again, you can do these on the ground. I'm gonna do them using a chair. So you're gonna sit into it, hands on the chair or the couch, hop back, hop back in, heels hit the ground, knee, knee. Hands down. Hopper step back to plank, hopper step back in, knee, knee. Squat thrust, hop back in, heels hit the ground, knee, knee. You can always step, you don't have to hop. Make sure the heels hit the ground, give me two knees. Hopper step, hop back in, knee, knee. Last one, hop out, hop back in, knee, knee. <clears throat> knee, knee. Okay, legs together. If you use a weight, you can use it here. Pop squats. So here's a low impact version. High impact will be in the box, which is just jumping out and jumping in. So you can use it weighted or unweighted. Notice I'm going pretty quick, pretty rapid pace to keep my heart rate up. All right, sit into the heels, come back up. Sit in the heels, come back up. Reach low, come back up. Reach low, come back up. Look at my feet, make sure the toes are straight ahead. So make sure you don't step out and collapse in. 
All right, everybody, you get about five seconds. We have like a few second break, and then we'll get ready for squat thrust. High knee pull, round two. One squat thrust, two high knees, use your arms. Here we go. Hands down, hopper step to plank, hopper step back in, knee pull, knee pull. Hop to plank or step, knee pull, knee pull. Here's the step version. You pick your favorite, or you can do a little hybrid like I'm doing. And I'm showing you from the side, just make sure that your shoulders are stacked over your wrists. Keep going. In other words, you don't want to be like this. See how my shoulders are behind? I want to be here. <sighs> Stay with it, guys. One more time. Hop out the plank. Hop back in. Knee. Knee. All right, you got your second one, which is going to be the pop squats. Start off with your legs together. It's that jumping jack move, whether you're hopping or stepping. Reach low. Reach low. Remember, the option will be in the box. And you can tell I'm breathing heavy. I'm not even using any weight. Just my big old badonka donk weight. Stay with it. It's a great travel workout. If you don't have any equipment, this is good. We're just super setting it. So, little rest in between, if any. Maybe five seconds. All right, you got five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! All right. Here's the next one. You're gonna lie down. Let's do some core. I've got to lie off the floor so you can see my legs. All right. Press your back into the mat. If it doesn't, bend your knee slightly. Raise up a leg. Keep your shoulders down. Bring that across the body. Raise up the leg. Lower it back down. Other leg. Raise it up. Bring it across the body. Back to the center and then down. Now, while you're doing these, I want you to imagine behind your low back, you've got a blueberry or a strawberry, something that's squishy. Press it, squish it. You don't want your back to arch off the floor, okay? Again, if that bothers you right here, then bring it across. It's okay to do it with the bent knee. Again, last one. And down. All right, I want you to tuck both knees in. And we're going to do a little roll, a little rock and roll here. So I want you to roll up, pause on your sits bones, and then roll back down. Use momentum. Roll up, pause. So I'm balancing on my sits bones, and roll all the way back down. Again, roll up. Another option is to put your heels down and slowly peel back down. Tuck the knees in, roll it, pause, drop the heels, slowly roll back down. Do it again. Tuck the knees, roll up. Last one. And then roll back down. All right. Smash that blueberry or strawberry, low back. Raise the leg up, shoulders down flat, bring it across the body. Use your core, pull the leg back up, lower down. Remember, Low back, pressed into the mat. It's going to come off a little bit when you rotate. You just got one more time on that second exercise, then we're going to be done. A one nice thing about this travel workout is it's short and sweet, so you're not working out all morning, but a little movement's better than none. And this is efficient. Bring it across and then down, nice. Now pull the knees in. So again, set your spine. You've got a little momentum. Here we go, roll up on the sits bones and then heels down, roll back down with control. Knees in, roll up, balance on the sits bones. You can come here if you want and then roll back down. So if you do Pilates, there's an exercise similar I think it's called roll like a ball or rolling like a ball. And they do a little more rolling up and then rolling down, but you pause here. We all do similar moves, right? This is the last one. And then roll down slow. 
and you are done. Pull both knees in. Give your back a little love. Draw some circles with your knees. And circles the other direction. All right, roll over on your side. Come on up to seated. One more thing, you're gonna stretch with your legs wide. Put your right hand here, left hand reaches over, lateral stretch. <sighs> and come on up, left arm down, right arm reaches. I hope you enjoyed this. This is a really, not that it's easy, it's challenging because you're supersetting because you're going back and forth. And again, that was about 40, 45 seconds of work per exercise. So three minutes per block. So it's a 12 minute actual workout, not counting the warm up and the cool down. Walk back up. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.